Hi, and welcome to the Maze Game Challenge. In this challenge, you'll be creating your first very own game. In the last challenge, you learned how to control the cat with the arrow keys. Now you're going to make your own maze game. And I'm going to make this full screen by clicking on these arrows here so you can see the game. And the way this works is if I click the green flag, I can use the arrow keys to control the cat. If I bump into one of the walls, I go back to the beginning and lose a life. And you can make it as complicated or simple as you want. You can even add obstacles that come in the way like this. So this is a flashing wall. And when I get to the green dot, it goes to a new level. The basics required in this challenge are that when you hit the wall, it goes back. And when you get to the end, it says congratulations. But feel free to be creative and add your own flair. Have a lot of fun with this game. If you feel you can do this, as always, jump into Scratch and go for it. But if you feel like you need some hints or you get stuck, come back and take a look at the hints. All right, let's make a new project, as always. So last time, we made the cat control the arrow keys. So I'm not going to really demonstrate that. I'm going to zip through it. So here's my code from last time getting the cat control of the arrow keys. Now I need to make a maze. And you can do this in different ways. The way I'm going to do it is in the stage. So if I click on the stage, you can do backdrops. Backdrops are like costumes and sprites, but backdrops you can't move around. You can switch them, you can add code to the stage in the backdrops, but you can't move them around. And the easiest way I find to make a maze is first click on Convert to Bitmap and color the whole thing with whatever color you want your walls to be. In this case, I'm going to choose black. Then I'm going to click on the eraser and set the max size, which is 100. And then I'm going to erase my path. So let's say I want my path to be this curly thing like that. Looks good. Maybe if I want it thicker, I can do two passes through this. Like this. Like that. My start is going to be over here. So I'm going to add a green circle over here. Should have showed the end. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to go back to the sprite cat, click code. And one of the first problems is my sprite is too big. Right. Well, you can control the size here, and I'm going to change this to 20%, maybe 30%. That's too small, I think. Oops, not too 30. There. Ow. There we go. 30. All right, so now if I click, it's great. It goes, but there's one problem. I can move through all the walls. So let's think about it. I want to do something if I touch the wall. And what do I want to do? Go back to the beginning. Oh, where's the beginning? I'm going to drag the cat to the beginning right here and drag out this go to, which is similar to the glide block, but it doesn't glide. It goes there, like teleports directly to it. That's where I want the beginning. I want it to start there when I hit the green flag. So the way I do that is I put it in between the green line flag in the forever. So I only want to do once when I hit it. So no matter where it is, flag will go there. Boom. Now I need to detect if it's touching black. Notice I said if. Whenever you hear an if, on an if statement. So I'm going to drag this if statement in. Where should I drag it? It doesn't really matter. I like to keep it at the bottom here to check it after it checks all the arrow keys. But it will still work if you put it at the top. And if you go to sensitive, there's something called touching color. And I'm going to drag this in. And right now that color is red. But if you click on this color, click on this eyedropper, I can go over here and choose any color I want. So that's white. That's black. Then let's click on it. If touching black, what do I want to do? I'm going to go back to the beginning. So I'm at the beginning now. I'm going to just go to, that's the right X, Y coordinates. There. Now if I run it, when I hit the wall, I go back to the beginning. You know, it's a little jerky. 
It's a little fast, honestly, which makes it hard. How would I slow this down? Well, to slow it down, you can change the amount of steps it takes each time it moves. Right now it's 10. If I change each of these to 5, it would be half speed. Maybe a little more manageable. That's better. I'm going to cheat for testing purposes, purposes and move it to the end. I want it, if it hits the green, to say congrats. So again, I notice I said if, so I'm going to need an if statement. Let me drag that, make sure it's not in the other statements. And I'm going to use the touching color again, which is a really useful block. Touching. I'm going to use the eyedropper to get the exact green color. So what do I want to do? I want it to say congrats to you win, but over the entire screen. So the way I'm going to do that is by adding a new backdrop. And this is what you can do also for new levels. So I have a backdrop here, and there can be more than one backdrop, just like there can be more than one costume in a sprite. So I'm going to click and choose one. And I'm going to choose a party celebration. And I'm going to add some that says, Do you win? And then I'm going to make it bigger. And there you go. So let's go back, back to the code. Oh, there's no code here. Where's my code? I'm on the code for the backdrop, not the sprite. So when touching green, I want it to go to the UN backdrop. So there's two ways I could do that. I could say switch to backdrop to party, which is the UN one. I named it. Or I could say next backdrop. If I said next backdrop, I could have multiple mazes and multiple levels. I'm going to do next backdrop. All right, let's start again. Hit the green flag. I have a problem. It still says you win. So I need to make sure when I hit the green flag, I switch back to the original maze. Now I could do this in multiple places, but I'm gonna do it in the backdrop because I wanna show you that you can add code here. So I'm gonna do it events, go to looks, and I'm gonna say sw uh, switch backdrop to backdrop one. So I hit the green flag, here I go. I bump into walls, I go back, like that. All right, let's get through here. The green, yay, you win, congratulations. So those are the hints. Be creative, you can add disappearing walls, you can add dragons breathing fire on you, add lasers being fired on you. This is your game, be creative as you want and learn along the way. Remember, as always, test as you go. Make predictions about your code and see if you're right. All right, good luck and keep on scratching.